Hi, welcome to Together Time with Kids, where I share budget-friendly activities for busy parents and caregivers to spend meaningful time with their kids. Today, we'll be learning about sorting. For today's learning activity, we're going to read or listen to a story called The Animals Would Not Sleep by Sarah Levine. Then we'll have your child gather their own stuffed animals and toys and have your child compare the differences to sort them into categories. You can practice counting the number of toys in each category and then sorting the toys in different ways. So you can start off by um, reading a story together about math. The recommended reading is The Animals Would Not Sleep by Sarah Levine which can be borrowed from a local library, purchased on Bookshop, or you can watch a free read aloud on YouTube. During the story, you should talk about the different ways that Marco sorts his toys, such as when he sorts them by color, size, and ability. And while you're reading, you'll want to pause and ask your child to identify the different characteristics, the different attributes. So for example, you can ask them to point to which animals are the small animals and which are the large animals. You can also count the different animals on the page um, that are already sorted into their groups. And to help your child develop skills related to retelling stories, you can ask questions while reading, such as, what do you predict will happen next? Wait, who was that person? And which categories did Marco try? Why do you think the animals didn't like that? So after the story ends, you can talk to your child about how they are going to sort their own stuffed animals and toys, just like Marco. If you have any baskets or containers that you like to use for organizing toys, you can bring those out too, and it could help in the activity. So you should be encouraging your child to think about different characteristics that their toys have. Now, children naturally notice attributes such as color, size, length, type, and shape. So you can start off with having your child sort their toys based on one attribute. You can help your child to count the number of toys in each set. Then you can talk about which group has the most toys and which group has the least. So for example, the small toy group has five toys and the large toy group has eight toys. We have more large toys than small toys. After they finish with their first sorting rule, you can ask them what would be another way to sort, to sort your toys. If children need some help coming up with additional categories, you can ask them to describe some of their toys with three words. And maybe some of their stuffed animals have their own personalities and you can have your child sort the stuffed animals by the ones that are shy versus outgoing. <laughs> now, at the very end of the activity, you can talk to your child about the different ways that you compared the toys and reinforce that your child can sort objects. If your child needs additional support, you can model counting and ask questions to, identi to identify different characteristics about the toys to encourage sorting. Um, and if you need an additional challenge, you can ask children to sort the toys based on two attributes instead of just one. So for example, after they sort small toys and large toys, they can sort small red toys versus small blue toys. And through even more practice, children can continue to sort objects in daily routines. For example, you could encourage children to help you sort laundry by different categories maybe by the color or by whose clothes they are. You can ask your children things like, how many shirts are there? How about how many pants? Do we have more shirts or more pants? Or you can ask them, what would be some other ways that we could sort the clothes? Other ways that you can extend the lesson is by asking children to sort an area of your home that needs organizing. So they could sort miscellaneous items in a junk drawer, maybe silverware as they take it out of the dishwasher or drying rack, or they could help with organizing Tupperware lids and containers. 
and you should emphasize words about the different attributes that they're sorting by and express gratitude that they're being helpful for your family. So thank you for joining me today with Together Time with Kids for this learning activity on sorting. I hope to see you next time. Bye.